Okay, focus. it's time for our second game in the 1900s. <laughs> and uh, here we are playing our King's Indian defense. Don't forget, we do g6 first precisely to avoid that bishop g5, but not a big deal if you want to do not f6 first. Anyways, I'm leaving a link uh, to this opening in case you want to learn it. I'm leaving the link in the description. So we made it to the middle game. Like always, I leave you with my, my jam, and now we focus on trying to actually win this game so notice that it, it took the the form of a sicilian defense it's the same thing as, I, as if i had done c5 on the first move and then traded on d4 so this is why it's so important that we learned different openings guys yep i was ready to get that bishop let me just continue to improve my pieces and maybe eh, yeah let me do let me do e6 i was thinking of a6 b5 but Hmm. Now, rook c1, we don't like to be pinned. We know that. So let me do a6 anyways. And yep, of course, they want to capitalize on that pinned knight. All right, being aggressive. Being aggressive. Oof. Like, guys, I think this is like the fifth game that I, I forget about that pawn. And, yeah, now I don't have the time to take it. And my queen keeps moving around. This just cannot be good. Now, can I take only four? <laughs> nah, let me just uh, stay out of trouble. Now, I can tell you, this is really not looking good for me, guys. This queen back and forth, it just cannot be good. All right, we got to take. And now... Nah, let me bring Tato to the center. And I don't think they're going to give us the pair of bishops, but yeah, you never know. Okay, so they move the bishop out of the way with the tempo on my rook. My rook is happy to come to the d file, but now that bishop is a monster. But anyhow, uh, what if we just go... Tato could come over. <laughs> yeah, so let's see how that goes. And is this a, well, let me double check, but I think this is just a fork. Okay, guys, I think after, ooh. <laughs> All right, so, okay, so it almost worked. Uh, now you're going to see, I'm glad that, well, I'm not glad, but it's good that this happened because now you're going to see the attitude that we need to adapt in order to turn this game around, guys. I don't, I'm not saying I'm going to turn it around, but if we're down a piece like this, if we sacrifice, now, if we lose a piece like that or a pawn, we now have to switch gears and play ultra aggressive. We cannot stay passive and take it to the end game. So this has to be aggressive. We have nothing to lose. This is like in, in life. When you have nothing to lose, you gotta go in uh, with everything you've got. You cannot get worse than this. So I'm liking my rook to the seventh rank. Nah, I didn't like that because then they could do queen b8, okay? So I had to stay passive. But if they give me a break, I'm going to be aggressive. I know it's difficult. I don't think we're going to be able to do much because we only have queen and rook. But uh, drastic moments call for drastic measures. And uh, yeah, that g-pawn, we typically don't advance it like that. But again, guys, I just need to create chaos. Mm, let's save. All right, so how about rook d4, dark squares for, for my pieces so their bishop cannot get me in trouble. And it's all about creating complicated positions. Now, trading rooks, of course not. So I continue to put pressure down the dark squares. And now I think I could do, I think I'm going to be ready to do g4. Now, notice that my opponent is getting in time pressure, so that could help me out uh, as well. Now, even if we create something here, I'm not going to be proud, guys. We blundered Tato. That, that just, it cannot be forgiven. <laughs> now, don't forget, this is plenty of time. We have the increment. We continue to put pressure. If they do have three, we take it because the, the rook is spinning the g2 pawn. 
All right, we might be able to. Yep, H5. Aggressive, aggressive. I could have taken the pawn on A4. I didn't see it. We take it now. And back to safety. Look at that queen. I have moved the queen like 20 times, but. Hmm. Yeah, gonna take. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now this is not. Not looking good. Ooh, ooh, didn't see it. Okay, so, so free bishop. Now this is, I think, guys, this should be in a serious game. This should be probably a draw, but yeah, blunders left and right and everything collapses. Yep. Now we got plenty of time. Ooh, yeah, I think that was a trick. That was not a blunder. The trick, they wanted to see if I would play fast. Okay, okay guys, not proud of this game, but you can see the reason why my opponent lost this game. So with that said, I will see you on our next game.